talk about a logic gate which is called OR gate. The symbolic representation of an OR gate is like this. In this particular gate, you have the output here, say I am denoting it by Z and there are two inputs into this, say A and B. That means it is a kind of electronic circuit in which you can provide two sets of signals and the signal means either low voltage or high voltage and the output will be following some particular logic. If you talk about logic in language sense then we happen to say that either A or B, either A or B probably that is the reason that this is the name or get given to this particular system either A or B if high, high means higher than 5 volt, high means higher than 5 volt and high here will be indicated by 1 either A or B if high then output is high then output is high you understand this is the logic on which it is working now you see if you carry out the mathematical operation which is just the sum of the two signals which will be going into this gate then this particular logic can be obtained and if you try to verify this particular logic then the tabular representation of this entire sets of input and output signals that representation is called a truth table it is a technical name which is important to all possible combinations you can have so long as input and outputs are concerned you have two input signals A and B and the Z which is treated as output that we are saying it is equal to A plus B. Now you see the possible sets of combinations you have here is if it is 0 0 the other combination can be 0 1 other combination can be 1 and 0 and the final combination can be 1 and 1. Isn't it? These are the four sets of data possible at the entry point or input point. Now if you see the logic here, if you are adding these two then 0 and 0 if that is getting added that is 0. If 0 plus 1 is there it will be 1. If it is 1 plus 0 then also it is 1 and 1 plus 1 will also be 1. You see this is the kind of truth table you are obtaining for OR gate. Now see the output signals which you are getting that tells you that if one of them is higher then output is higher that is what is the logic you have written either A or B if high then output is high that particular logic is satisfied if you are simply adding these two signals at the entry point only when both the signals are low or zero then only you can see the output is low. Now you see sometimes in the pulse form the same thing can be given to you like this was the situation in which it came in the form of a truth table but let us suppose I try to represent it in terms of some pulse kind of signal then you see you can represent it in this particular fashion let us suppose I am giving you the entry point as this I am denoting as A so you should understand that this is the kind of pulse signal which is in the form of A, the B part is let us suppose represented like this, this is the B part and the output of this will be represented as this is a Z, you understand? Now you should understand that everything in the pulse form can be represented this you see here 0 0 and output is 0 so the lower value signal this is 0 this is 0 and output is 0 then you have 0 1 and output is 1 a is 0 but b is 1 because higher value is treated as 1 
and output is 1. In the third case, you have 1, 0, 1. So you can see A is 1 higher, then B is 0, output again is 1. In the last case, you have 1, 1, 1. That means if the input is higher 1, B is also 1, then output is also 1. You see, so truth table can either be represented in terms of table like this or it can be represented in the pulse form the way it has been shown there. You understand? Now, how do you happen to carry out this kind of operation? If you talk about the internal structure of the OR gate, then try to understand that. 